Okay, so what would a typical exposure session look like for me? As I mentioned, I started by going to public bathrooms when I didn't need to pee so that there'd be no pressure on me to perform. So what I'd do to begin with would be to go in the stall in a cubicle. I'd commit to staying there for three to five minutes. And the reason for staying there for over three minutes is to get over that feeling of having to rush. That feeling of having to go in there and I've got to be out as quickly as possible. So that helped. The next step on from that would be to stand at the urinal and to become comfortable with standing at the urinal and having nothing happen. So again, I don't need to pee. So if someone stood behind me, I have no pressure to perform. It is uncomfortable to begin with, but that's the whole point. It's to give you an opportunity to experience that uncomfortableness without having the pressure to pee. So that would be your next step. And you can even take it a step further. You go in there, you stand at the urinal, then before you leave, you get into a stall. And what you're gonna notice is what you'll notice is other people don't notice because they're in their own world. They're there to pee so that they can get on with what they're doing that day. And so again, that gets you comfortable with being at the urinal and then going into a stall. And then what you'll find is it puts you in good stead in the future because further down the line, you could find yourself in a situation where you're attempting to urinate at the urinal, it's not happening, you'll feel more comfortable about just going into a stall. So you'll be at the urinal, okay, it's not happening here, I'm, I'm gonna get into a stall. And you'll feel more at ease around that potential situation. So, that's the first step and that's how you can progress it. So typical exposure session for me would be, for example, if I'm going out into town to do some shopping, I already know beforehand the, the bathrooms that I can stop off at and get some exposure. So I'd begin by doing that, not needing to pee, and I'd stop off at each bathroom Maybe there's one at McDonald's, one at the shopping mall, one at the library. Then I'd take it a step further once I become comfortable doing that and I was comfortable with the whole idea of, okay, I'm walking to the bathroom, I don't need to pee. Once I become comfortable with that, then I started drinking some water before leaving so that I'd arrive in town with an urgency level of about a seven. And I'd go to the first bathroom, okay, maybe I'm not able to pee. I'd go to the second bathroom, the third bathroom. At some point along that line, I'd be able to pee. I had a backup plan. Always have a backup plan. And that just adds to the sense of safety and security. So it's all planned out. You don't have to think on your feet because that can be difficult. That can be challenging to think on your feet when you're feeling a little bit panicky and a bit disorientated because you've just had a misfire. So on that, along that journey, I, I always knew along the way that if any point I felt that I needed to, I would just get straight to a bus jump on a bus and come straight home. And I found that having the backup plan, I never actually had to use it, but it was there and I knew what I was gonna do. So that's where you can start if you don't have social situations that you can get yourself to, if you don't have people that you can arrange to meet up with, start there. Whenever you're gonna go out, 
know beforehand the public bathrooms that you can go to to begin getting some exposure.